And welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Lance Roberts. It is uh, 519 on your drive home this afternoon. In studio with me right now, Dr. Jesse McKee. We talk about him here all the time. Generally good. We generally talk good about him. As long as it's generally good. <laughs> That's all I can ask for. <laughs> I appreciate you having me here. Sure. Absolutely. No, we actually have had a lot of phone calls. Uh, people asking and stuff. They're asking me questions that I can't answer. So I figured, you know, what the heck, we'll just have you down here and if you want to call in and talk to Dr. Jesse McKee, feel free to give us a call. It's uh, 281-558-5738. Phone lines are open. He'll be happy to take your phone call, talk about you know your specific situation when it comes to your vision. Um, you know because you know this is something that I did with you, which it's, it's been great. You know I grew up wearing glasses for forty years. Um, you know ever since I was like nine, it was either you know it's big black grim glasses with the tape in the middle. <laughs> You never get a new pair. You just kind of keep them going. Well, back then, you know, back in, in what well, was like, you know, 1910, you know, whenever it was I was growing up, it was just, uh, you know, that was, it was all hand me downs. It was like my dad's prescriptions. Like, here, sure. wear these. You, know, you get all cross eyed from looking through the lenses. Sure. Three layers of scotch tape <laughs> exactly. to keep them together. So, uh, but yeah, so, but it's been great. We did uh, explain. Can you explain a little bit about what you did for, but, well, actually for me and Brent? Uh, my vision's better than his, by the way. Um, Y'all a little contest? Yeah, we did. We, 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 we see if we can read license plates from the eight-story building of cars driving by on the freeway. Perfect. So I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> that was subtle. <laughs> so, yeah, um, you know, we did a procedure called lens exchange, which is essentially the same thing that we do in cataract surgery. So what happens over time is that the lens of the eye loses the ability to focus and change uh, shape and look at things up close. It's what we call presbyopia, and I promise that's the only time I'm going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so Something people, about a press box and yeah, sports. Press box. Somehow we got there. I don't know. So you start taking things and holding it farther out until your arm's not long enough. And so what we can do is replace the lens that can't change shape anymore to focus on distance and near with a new multifocal lens. That right. new lens will help you see distance and near and, and restore all that. So when you talk about multifocal, though, I mean, people are familiar with like bifocal lenses, yeah. trifocal lenses. Is that what you're talking about? Similar. So the old generation lenses were more or less bifocal. So you had distance vision you had near vision, but in the middle, you more or less had a donut hole where it was tough to see the computer screen, things were blurred. The newer generation lenses, especially when we do both eyes, we can do one lens for the dominant eye, another lens for the non-dominant eye, and really give a nice range of focus. So that option wasn't available five, 10 years ago. We did have bifocal or multifocal lenses, whatever you want to call them, but they had a little bit more of a, I guess, a choppy focus for lack of a better word. Right. And so now, and this is relative, this is relatively new technology, but actually Witsit is one of the leading practitioners of this. And I mean, y'all do a lot of case studies and a lot of, of a lot of work with these with this new technology, right? Yeah, no question. So we've been involved in a lot of the groundbreaking studies for years now for all the big lens companies and and uh, you know some of the drop companies and other things. So. You know, being part of all the studies is nice because it allows us to see what's coming down the pipeline. No pun intended. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> but but that being said, it, it is also nice. Sometimes people come in, you know, you alluded to the fact earlier that when people come in, you're not always a good candidate for surgery, but we're always honest with you. If you're not, then then you're not. But being a part of the studies helps us to tell you when you might be in the future. So, mm -hmm. well, if you're not part of the study, you might say, well, hey, you know, you're not a good candidate for any of this technology. I guess you'll have to come back in a couple of years. We can say you're not a good candidate for this technology, but we know of new technology that will likely become available in the next year or two. So give us a call, and I think we'll be able to help you. And we've done that for a lot of people. Yeah. And, and so when you talk about, you know, people being candidates or not, um, mm -hmm. what's kind of the – so, for instance, uh, we had a lady in the studio yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, she's like, yeah, well, I've got cataracts. I can't do any of that. But that's not actually the case anymore. Uh, and people that have had LASIK or RK, they think that, you know, once they've had it and their vision starts to go that, well, once you've had LASIK, you can't fix it. Yeah, that's not true at all. So we see a lot of second opinions or a lot of people that have just had procedures maybe, you know, 10, 20, even 30 years ago and are coming in because that procedure is faded and they want something done. So the same thing that you had in your eyes can be done for somebody with dense cataracts. That same lens implant can be placed provided there's not other things that would contraindicate like severe glaucoma, macular degeneration or something like that. And that's part of all our exams. Well, we and then, test for that. but can, so if, if somebody comes in and they've got maybe mild glaucoma or that mm -hmm. is, is, is there treatments for that as well? Absolutely. So if it's mild glaucoma, um, you know, a little bit of astigmatism, nearsightedness, farsightedness, somebody who's had LASIK previously, typically they're still candidates for all the things that we're talking about. 
RK surgery, what we call radial keratotomy, which was kind of the precursor to LASIK that was done back in the 80s. It's, it, unfortunately, there are a couple of things we can't do with that, but we do have some other good options that can provide a pretty good range of focus. So, you know, I would say there's nobody that comes in that has no options. You know, everybody has some, some possibilities to make their vision better. It just depends on a little bit about what the exam shows. And, and so one thing about this is, is that when, you know, what I was surprised about is, you know, how far technology has come. I mean, it seems like just a few years ago about your only option was LASIK. And now we're talking about actually replacing the lens actually in the eye. Um, you know, that's kind of a scary, uh, a scary concept, you know, when you're talking about, can you ex explain a little bit about, you know, how that procedure actually works. I mean, you know, I can just imagine people driving around and it's like, what, they're gonna take my eyeball out? You know, how does this, how does this work? Yeah, we have people ask us all the time how long their eyeball will be out of their head. So yeah. that's, that's not exactly <laughs> what happened. So it used to be that cataract surgery or lens exchange, which wasn't done as much before, was done by opening up the eye and essentially taking out the lens in one piece, like a CD out of a CD player, more or less. Mm -hmm. And the new lens went in the same way. Well, that involved putting in a bunch of stitches led to some delayed post-operative healing, was uncomfortable, and all those types of things. That hasn't been done for many, many years, but that was the way that it used to be done. Right. So now it's all done with about a five to 10 minute procedure using ultrasound, laser, and essentially a whole lot of fluid and eye drops. So it's very, very easy to do. The next day afterwards, you can go back to work as long as you're not doing any running or heavy lifting. Mm -hmm. um, we give you some light anesthesia. And, you know, I think you alluded to the last <laughs> time, a good light show and some good music. <laughs> yeah, I think the, the, the anesthesia is the best. The, that cocktail, yeah. that's the best part of the whole treatment. <laughs> yeah, that's part of it. That We throw that in there for my, you. My wife uh, went home and she made me sign a bunch of documents that I still to this day have no idea exactly what I signed. And you'll but... find out <laughs> later on, I'm sure. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I was fine at the time. Whatever it was. <laughs> It's all good, uh, but no, actually, the 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 process of exchanging the lens is very interesting because it's just a very very small hole, and you actually roll the lens into a tube and then insert it and pop it open like a like a flap or something. It's exactly right. So it goes in through a two point four millimeter incision in the eye. So you know it's a small opening that essentially allows us to use the ultrasound and the fluid and take out the old lens. And that new lens is it's made of acrylic material. And it's folded up kind of like if you go to Papacitos and get some, some tacos or a burrito. It's all folded up like a taco, and it goes in the eye, unfolds slowly. We kind of dial it into place mm -hmm. and, uh, and close up the eye, and then you're done. Very it's, easy. It's, I know. It's, it's very fascinating. And, you know, and, and, and you kind of, when you think about the eye, right, the, it's, it's kind of hard to, to perceive the fact that you can just take the lens out and then stick a new one in. It's because you, know, you think, isn't that all like attached in there? <laughs> it is. So it's essentially attached. The lens is in what's called, and again, I don't mean to get technical. I promised you I wouldn't. That's right. That's right. It's called what's, what's called the capsular bag. So think about an M&M with a candy coating. We make a small opening in the candy coating, use the ultrasound, the fluid, and the laser to remove the inner you know, chocolate, so to speak, put a new lens in that bag. That whole thing is surrounded by almost like little springs on a trampoline. And that's the apparatus that holds your lens into place. So none of that's disrupted. That whole thing is left in place. That new lens heals within about a week. You can go back to normal activity, and you're yeah. good to go. Yeah, that's true. 281-558-5738. Uh, if you'd like to talk to Dr. McKee about uh, your vision and what options you may be thinking about, or if you've got you know issues potentially with glaucoma or cataracts, et cetera, and he's got a solution. They don't do just lens replacement. I mean, they are you know, they're specialists in vision, right? So if you've got any vision problems at all, feel free to give them a call. Uh, he'd be happy to give you free diagnosis right here on the air. So, <laughs> Over the airways, 100% <laughs> accurate. So while you're driving down, he's going to ask you, uh, so the car that's in front of you, read the license plate to me. <laughs> 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 hey, cover, your, cover your right cover eye while eye. you're driving. <laughs> yeah, please so, don't do that. Yeah. Uh, when we come back from the break, though, um, I'd like to kind of get into a little bit of the a little bit more the the kind of the nitty gritty a, a bit, but uh, particularly the the fix for astigmatism is quite fascinating. A, a lot of people have astigmatisms; they don't realize that there's actually a fix for that now too. Mm -hmm. Something I, something I didn't know about either, and that's actually I can personally tell you what that experience was like. We'll do that when we come back for the break with Dr. Jess McKee from Winston Vision. Feel free to give us a call at 281-558-5738. That's 281-558-5738. Be right back.
Want a longer talk with Lance about your money? Request a personal one-on-one at LanceRobertsShow.com.